Right, I'll turn you. Okay, right, how Tony then, um, so we just had a controls lesson. We have, yeah, yeah. So how do you feel about that? Yeah, I knew quite a bit anyway, being a mechanic. Um, so you should understand. Yeah, I knew all about the pedals and all that. Good. Yeah, that was good the way you showed me how to set myself up, though. Yep, so all the... And, and I never realised that I was responsible for all the doors and all that. No. So you, you're quite happy with everything with that? I am, yeah, yeah. So, no questions? No, no. Excellent. So we need to move on then to start and stop. So we don't need to do that, do mm. the responsibility and all that, because we, we've, yes. not done that, we've not done that with the controls already. So we'll do yeah. that again. So, so right, so Tony, we're going to do um, move on to start and stop. So I want you to understand that um, who's responsible for everything inside and outside. Oh, car. you told me uh, I was. You are. So yeah. yes. So, um, so you're fully aware of that. I am, yeah. You are. Yeah, so, yeah. so what we're going to do is we're going to work on how we get the start and the stop going. If by any chance I feel the situation that I'll need to step in, either verbally or with the pedals, I will do that. So you, you understand that? Yeah. Okay? So you're happy with that? Yeah. So for, for starters, how much help do you feel that you need? Have you done this before? At all? Oh, moving up and stopping? Yeah. Uh, I've moved a couple of cars in the garage. So you have an understanding of the... Um, when the boss wasn't around. When the boss wasn't yeah, around, yeah. okay. So you have a slight understanding of how the pedals work then. And the bite, did you get them to understand about the bite? Oh yeah, I, fit, I, I, I fitted loads of clutches in the cars. So that's yeah. fine, so yeah. you're quite happy with all that yeah. then. Okay, so I think the best thing is, is if we just get started. Yeah? No? Yes, no? Have you, have you found out from me, um, what help I need? Happy, well that's partly why I was asking uh, that. What bit. help I want? So how much do you help would you like from me? Um, when I'm stopping, yeah. I noticed when I was parking a car up at uh, in the garage the other day. Yeah. I got a bit close to the ramp on that side, and I nearly dropped the wheel down the ramp. Right. So I'm a bit worried that when I come in, when I got to stop, I might hit the curb. So are you, do you feel that you're steering into the into the curb too much? You're turning the wheel as you stop. No, I'm just trying to figure out how I know when I'm close enough to the curb. So. Well, that's something that we're going to have to do as we do it, and we'll talk about reference points. So have you not, you've obviously not done any reference points at all, have you? Because this is a new, it's the first time we've done it. So what do you have to think you have to look for to know the right place to stop? So that you've got the right distance from the curb. So, um, well, look at, look at where the car's positioned now. Yeah. So what can you see the distance with the curb? and the front of the car. Can you see anything at all? What do you mean? The distance that we are from the left hand side of the car. So what can we see like for example in the mirror here? I can see them. So can you see the distance we are from the curb when you look down? Yeah I can see it parked quite well yeah. So it's parked quite well isn't yeah. it? It's about a foot from the yeah. curb? A foot. It's a bit closer than that. It's a bit closer than that. Well that's okay. So as long as you aim to be about that from the curb for now. That. Yeah? Is that no good? Could you hold your hands like that for the whole lesson? <laughs> I don't know any reference points, you've got to reference right. points. Yep. Could you not ask me where does the curb appear to cut into the car? I could ask you that, couldn't I? Where does the curb, where does it cut into the car? Because I can't even see the bonnet. It's better. So, when you sit where, stay sitting where you are though, how does it cut into the car where you're sat? Oh, um, Near that bubbly bit. What, the little windscreen washer? No, the left. bubbly bit there. Oh, the bubbly bit yeah. there? Yeah. So it cuts into car. So that's your aim. So what you've got to do is you've got to know... That's that is that important to uh, not get too close to too yeah, far Yeah, because away? if you get too close, what's going to happen? Um, since you've just got a new car, I should imagine you'd probably shout at me. Um, I'll try not to. to. scratching your allies. Yeah, I'll try not to shout yeah. at you. Yeah. But yes, with a new car, if you if you catch the kerb, you're going to damage your alloys yeah. and potentially damage your wheel tyre as well. It's safer to stop a little bit for a direct. So it's safer to stop a little bit there. So you can use that little bubble as your reference point. Or I, so could, I, I could stop. A little bit further out from what you are now would be a good position, wouldn't it? What's a little bit? Um, two or three inches. Uh, so. Shall I stop about a metre away from the curb? That'd be better. 
That way I won't hit it. No, no that's too far away, isn't it? That caused problems. Well, what do you think? If you're a metre away from the kerb, how far is a metre? So looking at that car in front of you now, how's he parked? Uh, he hasn't done it very well, he's on the kerb. He's on the kerb and so yeah. is the one on the other side. Neither yeah. of them have done it very well, yeah. have they? So, but if you think about it, a metre, if you're a metre, that's about, that's three quarters of the width of that car, isn't it? If not. Uh, yeah. So then you'd be sticking a hell of a long way out. So what about, how's that going to affect other vehicles coming down the road? Oh, I suppose they might not be able to get past. They won't be able to get past you, will they? Yeah. And if someone was coming a little bit too fast and didn't see you to the last minute, what could happen, potentially happen then? Um, well, they'd be a bit, a bit blind if they didn't see me. Well, it would be a bit blind, but the other problem you've got is if they're, what about if vehicles are coming both ways and you're stuck out that far? I think the road's going to be blocked, isn't it? It's going to be blocked, yeah. yeah. Okay. They're going so, to be coming around and giving you a bit so of So that road. wouldn't be a good idea to be a metre from the curb, yeah. would it? Okay. So I'll use so, that reference point. So you point, use yeah. that reference point yeah. as a good place to stop yeah. near the curb. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what we're going to do is you're going to put your foot on the brake. No. Yeah. yeah, the engine's not starting to stop, is it? You're going to put your foot on the brake. Can I put the foot on the brake? So you don't have to press it, just just hold that over it. Okay, so now your left foot, you're going to put it on the clutch. And I want you to actually get, so you've got used to changing gears, haven't you? So moving your gear stick yeah. in the thingy. So I just want you to push it right down and find first gear for me. So push it right to the floor and keep it to the floor and then that's it. So you're going to have, that's the gear you're going to use, isn't it, to, oh. to move off. So, and then that's how you do it. So we're going to, we're only going, we're going to stay in just first gear oh. and then move up potentially, get possibly to second. Yes, yeah, so you can, so I want you to put that back into neutral oh. and put it back now. So let's start up the engine. And brakes on, leave all that in neutral. Oh, seatbelt seat on, and sure. you're happy with all your mirrors? I've got my seatbelt on already. It's not twisted. Not twisted, good. So, what we're going to do first of all is we're going to start up the engine, oh. and I just want to hear that you know you can hear the bite. So, I want you to not do anything with the gear stick. I just want you to press down a little bit of pounds, thickness at a time, on the accelerator. And I want you to push that, push the clutch to the floor, and then I want you to bring it up slightly, and bring them both up. So one goes down and one comes up. Push the accelerator a bit more. That's not going to do anything without the gear stick. Now push the clutch to the, push your. Clutch yeah, being a mechanic, floor. I don't think the bike works uh, until you're in gear. It doesn't, does it? No. no. So you have to. <laughs> So you need to put it into first gear, put your clutch right down into first gear, yep. yep, and then I want you to feel the bite when it comes in. So you'll feel the engine start to chatter. Yeah, the engine A little changing. bit more acceleration. Can you feel it now? Yeah. Yeah? So that's, the engine's trying to move off, isn't it? Yeah. So, you're going to... Was that, was that not enough? No, that's grinding, isn't it? Why is that grinding? A bit more acceleration. More acceleration. Yeah, I want to hear the bike. So now stop. Uh, that'll roll. You're going to yeah. you're going to lose your clutch very quick, uh, quickly, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to have to tell me how to do this. Sorry? You're going to have to tell me how to do this. If the bike's too high, what do you do? Put your clutch down a bit more. Look, the word "bit" at a roll Can't means bugger all, eh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Think about things that I could relate to. Put the clutch down, maybe the thickness of a pound coin. Okay. Yep. Stop. Is that too high? So that's okay, isn't it? That's okay. Put the clutch down. So put the clutch down, the thickness of a pound coin. And just there, yeah? Yeah. So, I want you to put your hand on the handbrake. Left hand on the handbrake. So don't do anything. Don't do anything. I wasn't doing anything. So you've got to do your observations everywhere. So it's a little bit not too fast. Don't rev that acceleration. Okay. So I want you to do your observations. You want me to keep my feet still? I want you to keep your feet still. Yeah, that'd be help. So you have to keep your feet still at this stage. You do your observations all around the car. So you start from point one, come all the way around the car, and then when you feel it's all clear, you can gently relax the handbrake. Yeah, it's all clear. You haven't looked. I want all your mirrors checked. Over here. 
Maybe a blind spot over his shoulder. No part with it. Care. What do we need to check on there? Because it's what if somebody comes out of that driveway? You can't see them. Right. So are you going to check your blind spots or not? Where have you learned that from then? What? Your blind spots? Have I not learned that off you? What? You have to check there, don't you? One, two, three, four, and over the top, that's over what, the right. That's what we call a six point check, yeah? Yeah. I've never taught you to do a six-point check from the way from the, the curb. So am I not going to do that? I've been watching videos, I shouldn't watch them, should I? Well, not one video you've been watching. No, so it shouldn't, shouldn't you do that? Why? Why shouldn't you do that? Give me a reason. Why you shouldn't? Why I should? Why you should? Because... Well, you're going forwards, aren't you, so I suppose... I'm trying to come out of that drive. Yeah. When are they going to be a danger to me? When they're coming round to the left of you. When they get to baby in front of me, yeah? Yeah. I'm going that way, and I'm going to the right. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so what check should I do? That, 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 and that. Put a bit more logic into it. Yeah. Check that one first, yeah? Yeah. There could be about 95 cars coming up behind me, yeah? Yeah, so there's... Am I going to go any further? No, so no. there's no point going anywhere. Yeah. Right, so I get myself ready again, shall so, I? So, hold on, no. No, I need to know this. So, if you check that one first, yeah. and there's nothing coming, yeah. do you then check them all? Or not? You could have a look at that you one. Could that one, that one, and then over your blind the spot. Okay. That one. Don't forget forward as well, yeah? Yeah, forward. It's like a rainbow effect, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? That one? Yeah. And then the blind spot. And then the blind spot. Yeah. Okay. So should we get another go? Yeah. Okay. So, so... Did you say keep your feet still? So keep your feet yeah. still, Tony. Yeah. I want you to check in your mirrors. So check in the central one first. Is there anything coming? No. So then give a quick check into your door mirror. If there's any bikes? No. Through the front, anything coming that way? No. Through that door mirror, any bikes that way? No. And then last check over your shoulder. So for the blind yeah. spot that right. people can see, you haven't done your shoulder. No. That's not your shoulder. Over to the blind corner in the back of the car. That's it. Over there. Oh yeah. Full blind spot. Okay. Nobody there. All right. So when you're ready, you have then. That's a signal, haven't you? So you signal to say, tell, let people know you're pulling away from the curb. What people? Anyone, pedestrians, drivers, cyclists, anyone that might come out, so that they know. Now you have a car coming towards you. So. So if I don't see anybody around. Yeah. Not even a pedestrian. Yeah. Do I need to signal? Well, no, because no. no. Because it's really, you've got to know that is anyone going to benefit from your signal. How does that help me to be a better driver by... Is that wrong there? Yeah. How does that help me to be a better driver and you able to assess... What if you indicate? And, and get inside my head a lot more. If... Sometimes I indicate to move off and stop and sometimes yeah. I don't. Well, what's that telling you as my instructor? Um, that you need to do it all the time to get into a good practice of doing it. How did you come to that conclusion? Because if you see me indicate sometimes mm -hmm. to move off and sometimes to stop and on other occasions you see me not indicate, what's, that, what's that telling you? Um, that you're either reading the road well and you know that no one's going to benefit exactly, so you don't yeah. need to indicate yeah. or you've got a habit that you just do it sometimes or not. So I'd need to assess whether, if there's nothing coming and you're not indicating, you've read the road well. If there yeah. are people coming and you don't indicate, that that's when you're not so using So what do I learn from by just doing it as by rote? Um, every time? Every time. Not You're just doing it as a habit. Yeah. So, okay. Okay? Yep. So, first gear again? First gear again. <laughs> quick, quick observation check. Mirrors. Quick. How quick? No, well, I just want you to oh. do them without... Taking hours. Nobody there. No one there. No, 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 no one there. No, no. Door no, mirror no, no. over the no, shoulder. No. Oh, clear. Okay, and let's go very gently. So thickness no. of a pound. So accelerate down. That's it. Stop. So why do you think you stopped? Stop. Yeah. Why do you think it stalled? It stalled. Yeah. Why do you think it stalled? So. So I'll try again. So we're going to try again. Yes. Okay. So it's all clear. Oh, you're checking, eh? So I just checked for it, so you can move it, but shouldn't really. Oh, I don't need to check now, do You do I? need to check, yes. 
Okay, a little bit more acceleration and then gradually bring your... Still stop. So, that's because... Oh, your air roll. Yep. Otherwise we're going to be sitting here all day. We are yeah? going to be sitting here all day. You're going to be taking your first pupil out this week, aren't you? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Don't, Don't say that. I can't do this. Help this me. is the worst lesson ever. <laughs> Remember that listening skill, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Is it important to watch him? Yes. Yeah? I was trying to watch your feet then. Um, there's more than my feet control in the car, yeah? Yep. Why do you think I stalled? Because your clutch has come up too soon. Not enough gas. Do you want me to tell you or do you want me to try it again and see if you notice it? Oh, I better try it again and see if you notice it. You haven't released the handbrake. And do it down, but... Okay, shall I get ready? Yep, get ready. Please. Observation's good. It's going to stall again if you haven't spotted it. I still haven't spotted it. You're looking at my eyes, yeah. my hands, yeah. and my feet. Yeah. Yeah? You're looking at my eyes, okay, because you're spotting the observations. Yeah. Are you watching my hands? You're not releasing the handbrake. I did release the handbrake on those two occasions that I stalled. Well, watch me again. This is really bugging me. I put it to third and not first. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Okay, so I'll make sure you push it over to the left and up one to the right. That's still in third. So you need to put your palm on the side of the gear stick. Yeah. Push over towards me. Yeah. No, hold it pushed over towards me. So push towards me, leave it there, leave it, no, back into neutral. I just want you to do it really nice and slowly. So this is what I'm saying, put your palm of your hand. What's, what's written on there? Nothing. Because you're a W. <laughs> Wait. Sorry? Wait. <laughs> W-H-Y. Why? <laughs> because you take your hand off it, that's why. So I, I just... You're assuming a bit too much, aren't you? You're assuming that I know... What, that, because you're a mechanic? Yeah, that if I pull away in third gear, it's going to stall. Well, it might not necessarily stall, but if you have, if you have more gas, but if you haven't got enough gas, it's going to stall. Yeah, I can't use lots of gas while I'm moving the car around a very small workshop, can no, I? No, exactly. So... What are you trying to tell me, Tony? The importance of being in first gear. So what is the importance of being in first gear in order to move off? Yeah. Would it stop it stalling? Well, what what is the reason for being in first gear rather than second or third or fourth? You said it's got lo loads of power but not much speed. It, exactly. So there's a lot more power. So you need the power into the engine when the clutch bites in order to pull away. So if you're in a higher gear, you don't have that power. So you have, it's good for speed, but you don't have the power to pull away from stage So, in plain English, will it stop me stalling? What, if you're in first? Yeah. Not necessarily, no. It won't. If your feet aren't right. Yeah, but will it help me not to stall? It will help you not to stall. Will I stall if I, if I try pulling away in third gear? Potentially, yes. Potentially? Yeah, if you don't floor it with the accelerator. <laughs> don't do that! <laughs> now you're in first. Yeah. Get myself ready. Okay. So, you know observations before you pull away? It's a bit hard to remember this routine, isn't it? You put it into gear, put you get gear. your feet ready, yep. do your observations. Yeah, and what's and the last move. thing you do? So, when you've done your observations, so you need to have your hand on the handbrake ready, your left hand. Is there any way I can remember all this quickly? Is there any way you can remember it? Yeah. Uh, what about one, two, three, four? What about pump? Position, observe, and move. Okay. Prepare, observe, and move. So you prepare. So you prepare yourself, don't you, with your gears yeah, and your yeah, feet yeah. and your hand on the handbrake. That's P. P. Oh, is so your observations oh, okay. are all those. And then when everything's all clear, that's when you would gently release the handbrake. Shall I signal? So, do you need to signal? I can't see anybody around. Then no. So there's a, there's a cat underneath that car. Shall I signal him? No, you don't need to signal him. Just to make sure you don't drive over him. Okay. So just do 10 minutes to the right. 10 minutes. Now back to the left, towards me. 
Stop it, don't you dare look at your watch. Fuck me, you said 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, excellent. So I want you to go now. We're going to go up into second gear. I thought you said you weren't, we weren't changing gear. So, well, we're going to because you've got a nice speed up. So, I want you to pull over just after this red car and go towards the curb and use your reference point. Slow right down, brake, 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 brake. Is that mine? I didn't hear anything. <laughs> hey? <laughs> You're so mean to me. <laughs> okay. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Yeah? Have you done any uh, home study on uh, moving up or something? Uh, no, nearly, but not. Nearly? Did one, and one. that confused me even more, so I didn't carry on, I thought I'd just do it with you. Yeah, there's two routines I'm going to learn here today, which are going to be used all the way through my driving, aren't they? Yeah. One I just had to tell you back there, what was it? POM. Yeah. And What's the other one? MSPSL. Yeah. When's the MSPSL used in? Once you've got going. Before I come back in, isn't it? Yes. Yeah? So once you've got going, we've got to come back in. And we're in the position speed and look. Yep, yeah, okay. so... Uh, treat me like a real learner. I know. You left me on my own there, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah? Anybody could have, uh, could have been coming behind me. The speed I was going... About five or six mile an hour... The bicycle could have been coming down the inside of me. Yep. Yeah? Yeah. Yep. So you also told me that we're going to stay in first gear, and we didn't stay. And, and the next thing is, and the next thing is, you're going to tell me that we're that we're changing gear, yeah? So, is it best to just stay in first gear and do a very short distance, or is it best to teach both at the same time? It's best not to confuse your pupil and make your mind up what you're going to do, yeah? Yeah. So yeah? when it's their very first one, is it best to just stay in first and then stop and then learn that for a little bit and then? Why do not? Why not use building blocks? Yeah? Yeah. I need to learn how to move off. And stop. Steer. Yeah. And stop. Yeah? Yeah. Where did the ten minutes come from? The ten minutes? Yeah. Uh, as in... No, no. Well. I'm asking you where did it come from? When I've watched another... Well, I have watched video and they say, turn the steering wheel to the ten past and then turn it back. And then did, you consolid um, did you consolidate that with me or... No. Did you expect me I to have watched videos as well? It just suddenly yeah? came into my head. I never watch driving videos. I won't tell you what videos I do watch, but they're not driving videos, yeah? It came into my head at the last second and I thought, oh, I'll just say it, but I knew that it was, wasn't going to work. Shall I not just steer to me? And then you tell me that's enough. Me. Yeah. And then steer to you. And, and then... Would be a lot more sensible, wouldn't it? And then you tell me that's enough. And then what do you say afterwards? And then straighten the wheel. Oh right, yeah. That's why I was checking my watch. I thought you wanted to keep the wheel there for 10 minutes. I thought I'm going to kill you. Okay. <laughs> I thought I'm going to kill you for yeah. that one. You think I'm bad? <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Yeah? So, so that's what I needed to know for the for the first the basics one. Try and... not done this one before. This one is the hardest thing. People say it's not hard oh. to learn. I think this one is the hardest thing. Try and have a think about how your pupil's feeling, yeah? Yeah. It's it's their first lesson, yeah? Uh, ask most pupils, there's two things that, uh, that I'll tell you that don't want to happen on their lessons, yeah? They don't want to stall and they yeah. don't want to crash. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So when I go down the pub tonight now and all my mates says, how did your lesson go? I stalled three times. Yeah? They're going to be laughing at me, aren't they? Yeah? Yeah. Have you really? So is it important to watch me? All the time. Well, you've got to watch the road as well. Yeah. But is it to important both. to watch me when... Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'll try again. I'll we'll try again. Okay. So... Obviously, if we're only staying in first gear, we can't go that far before we stop, can we? Because we're going to be going. If I was you, I'd be looking down the road. 
and looking for a safe, legal and convenient place that we're going to stop, yeah? Just stop. So yeah. we don't have to go very far, do we? It's just little small steps. Should I get ready? Okay, yeah, what did you do? Prepare yourself? Oop. Observations? What did I want now? Give Tina a ring and say, can you keep, can you keep, keep about six, six or seven clutches on order for me? Because I'm going to need them very quickly, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yes. Okay, right. So, I want you to go into first. That's not first, Tony. So you need to check what you're doing when you do your gears. So put it back into neutral again. Now, where's where's first? So if you oh, go over there, yeah, over to the left. Because if you go straight up, you're going straight up into third gear. So you need to go over and up. So put your palm on the side of the gear. So too. have you got any money in the bank with me at the moment about moving off the third gear? Yeah. So I said, what's the problems with moving off the third gear? Not just who you haven't. So is it, is, it the, is it normal to move off in third gear? Is there going to be a problem with moving off in third gear? No, it's first, isn't it? It's first gear. So, so you know it's first gear. So why is it first gear? Loads of power. Okay, so, so where's first gear in the gearbox? So you need to find first gear. What happens gear. if you move off in third gear? Tom? What happens if you move off in third gear? I'll stall again. You'll stall again? Yeah. Okay. And then potential I'm, damage. I'm going to have to lie down the pub tonight and so I never stalled once, yeah? Okay, so you'll stall again and potentially do damage to your clutch and gearbox, okay? So... That's your clutch and gearbox. But it won't be when it's your car. So when it's your car, it's the same thing. So... so okay, so you're in first. Yeah. So... Prepare. Prepare yourself. I'm prepared. Yeah, okay. So now you owe your observations. There's a car coming, so not much point of me. Stretching my neck. Oh, he's turned off. He's turned he's off, gone, so yeah. you're okay. So, observations. Nobody, there. Nobody, there. Nobody ahead. No one ahead. Nobody Door there. and over your shoulder. Good. I don't need to signal, do I? So, you don't need to signal. So, that's well done. Keep nice and close to the curb, yeah? So, I want you to position yourself. Turn the wheel slightly towards you. Slightly? Yeah, towards you. Go slightly. What's your language? A little yeah. bit, a little bit towards you. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, uh, you just said towards you and then towards me. Yeah, I didn't say slightly though, did I? But if I say turn the wheel towards you... Stop and have a think, yeah? Oh, man. What does a little bit and slightly mean to a, a pupil? Probably completely different than what it means to you, yeah? Do you Why don't you just tell me? Stir to you, Tony. Stir to you, that's enough. Now stir to me. But how do I get you to say I want you to steer but not... Because some people might steer to me, do what you did and go like right. that. You use your listening skills, don't you? Okay. Yeah. Tony, stir to me. Oh, uh, stir to you. Yeah. That's enough. Okay. Now stir to me. That's enough. Now straighten up. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Can I try again? Yeah. Okay. So think about what I've been getting wrong so far and then ask me. Yeah? So before we move off, Tony. Yeah. So how do you feel about what you're getting wrong so far? Well, I haven't got very far, have I? So we haven't got very far. No, we haven't got very far. What have I got wrong loads of times? So what have you got wrong loads of times? I kept getting third gear. You kept getting third gear. So we want to get rid of that problem. So we want to get out of that habit, don't we? So how are you going to stop getting into third gear? How push it across. Push it across, and then what? And then forward. So push it across and up, yes. What? You know, come on, get and inside so my head. so what's the importance of being in first gear? Oh, I won't stall. You won't stall, okay. Excellent, right. P. P. O. Nobody there. Nobody there, good. No, don't see anybody around a signal to Don't need a signal, yeah. so, excellent. Now, I want you to steer a little bit a li towards you, and I'm going to tell you to stop. So stop, now towards me. No, stop the steering wheel. Oh, oh I thought you said that was enough. And then, now towards me. OK, 
okay now straighten the wheel up and that's enough well done now there's nothing coming so we can go for a little way I want you to go just after this turning and then we're going to aim to stop oh, on the left there by yeah. the curb by the tree well done think about the so think up. about the position mirrors do you use your mirrors yeah central mirror all right oh it's okay. a car behind me car behind you position your car over yeah. to the left how does he know what i'm doing signal oh signal steer towards your left position yourself you mean steer toward the reference point use your position your reference point okay straighten up and is it ready to stop yeah okay so how was that better it wasn't great but it was better so what do you feel about that how do you feel it was better i think i spotted the car behind uh, behind me before you did no I? I did spot the car behind you yeah, you think i'm not a good instructor <laughs> sorry i did spot the car behind you but i wasn't going to make you panic sorry i wasn't going to make you panic because there was a car behind you because then they, they waited for you I I'll panic a lot more if he gets any closer to me and starts tooting the horn at me, wouldn't I? Okay, yeah, you would. So, but I needed you to position over towards the left before I could do anything to get you to pull over. You used the MSPSL routine, yeah? Yeah. Which I was doing, you were mirror, then you were signal, then I said position yourself to the curb with your reference point, and then you've got to slow your speed down to stop. Would it not help if you got me to cover the brake on the way in? Yeah. And and at the kind of speed I'm doing, could I not even get the clutch down? Yeah. And then when you say brake, yeah? Yeah. Bit of a rough stop, isn't it? Yeah. I need some paracetamol now, yeah? <laughs> so do um, I. How could you help me with my brake any bit better? Not sudden, don't don't floor it to the I don't floor. Do big words. So progressive. So you're doing it in pound thicknesses down to the each to the floor. Oh, you mean press it in the thickness of pound coin? Press this. And if it's not slowing down enough, and then you press it a bit more. Oh, right. And a bit more until you stop. But you don't just stomp on it. Well, I'll just get us around the corner. We can try that again, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, that'll work. Okay. Yep. not as hard as what you think it is. You need to watch your wording, yeah? I'm making it hard. Yeah? Yeah, I'm making Same it enough. really difficult. You know when you come out with these words stop and that, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm actually making sure it's clear, yeah? Yeah, because I know. Because it's my car. No, I know. And it's my license, yeah? Yeah. Your pupils one. Yeah? Yeah, I know. It's the wording. What's the direction you're going to give me with the steering again? So I can, I can just remember. I want to steer towards you, that's yeah. enough. Now steer towards me, that's enough. And now straighten up. So So I don't I don't need my watch, do I? No, so you right. don't need the watch. So that's yeah. that's the yeah. way so that's how we're gonna do the steering. Right. So then once you've been driving for a little bit, Tony, we want to pull over and stop. Yeah. So how are you gonna do that? So what what are you gonna to aim to do? in order to pull Get over my reference point. So you use your reference point, so you steer towards me, don't yeah. you? And then you have to straighten the car up to be parallel with the kerb. And then how are you going to stop so that it's not all hard and jerky? Yeah, you, uh, you, you jump miles ahead of yourself here, yeah? Okay. What's the first thing I need to do before I start thinking about stopping? Position yourself. You're not thinking about your routines. There's a routine that you should be teaching me today that goes there's yeah. two routines Pom that go all the way through my driving lessons, yeah? Yeah. What are they? POM and MSPSL. Right, so, you know, why is the MSPSL not coming up? So, it's mirrors. You signal to pull to what to, to tell if someone necessary. that you're coming over, if necessary. Yeah. If there's someone that you've got to tell, you have to signal to pull over. Then you use your reference point to pull in towards the curb. You reduce your speed. So you position yourself. You reduce your speed and look you can actually slightly change that um, because
because I'm coming in the park. Yeah. We. It was slow anyway. We we could take the speed away, and just then adjust the position. The yeah. Okay. So you've got the mirrors to signal you position yourself. You have a final check on your mirrors, yeah. and then progressive stopping. Let's try again. We'll try again. Yeah. Okay. Now this road's going to be slightly busier, Tony. So you're going to have a few cars coming backwards and forwards. Yeah. So we need to be aware of that. Yeah. So. So you want to do your palm routine? Oh, right. Prepare. So come and so you've got to prepare yourself. So what's the first thing you have to do? Get first gear. So come on then, first gear. What is it? Drill a hole and get inside my head. So what? How do you know that I've learned about this stalling thing? So what will happen, Tony, if you don't go into first gear? I'll stall. You'll stall. So yeah. what gear are you going to go into? Yeah. First gear. And how do you do that? Push and forward. Push and forward. Okay, prepare. so now I want to prepare your feet. Yep. Yep. So do your observations. Oh. Nobody coming. There. Nobody coming. Nobody coming. Nobody coming? Nobody ahead of me. Okay, Nobody and your blind spot? Me. I'll just do this one first. No. Yeah, okay. I thought you'd done that one. Nobody there. Okay. Alright. So I need you're signal. Ready? So do you think you need to signal? No, I don't think so. No, exactly. Okay, excellent. So, I want you to steer a little bit towards, I want to steer towards you until I say enough. That's enough. Now towards me, Tony. Okay, that's enough. Now straighten up. Oh, it's gone, nowhere. So straight towards you, straighten up, straight, now towards me. So I want you to steer towards, round there, that's it, good, towards you a little bit. A little bit. Now towards me. Now towards you. Now straighten the wheel. Okay. Now I want you to do your MSPSL routine because we're going to pull over and What's we're going to stop over the curb. Mirrors. Which one? So use your central mirror. Signal. And your deaf dormer signal. Okay. Now position your spell. Use your reference point. Okay. I'm going really fast. So you I? reduce your speed. Oh. Come off the accelerator. Now hover over the brake pedal. Hover. Now think of the pen pound coins. Depress it as the pound coins and put your clutch pedal right to the floor. Okay. Excellent. Well done. Then I do. So then what should you do? No. Two. Which way round should you do it? Doesn't matter. It does matter. So I'm going to ask you again, which way around should you do it? And then we'll talk about what it matters in matter. So I want you to put your foot to the floor with on, on the clutch pedal. Put your foot to the on the clutch and put it to the floor and put yourself into first gear. I know, but I want you to put yourself in first gear for me a minute. So just put it into first gear. Okay, now imagine we've just stopped. Yeah. What should you do? So what should you do first? Get out of gear before I don't, I don't want to stall again. No, you don't want to stall again, but you keep yourself in first gear. Your foot on the brake. And you release the handbrake, you put the handbrake on first. Why is that? I don't know. So, have a think about it's it. It's one what of these routine uses, uh, your so instructors have, isn't it? This is a routine you've got to get in used to. So when we come to a stop, you put your handbrake on and then into neutral. And then you can take your feet off the pedals. Oh, I have a You're assuming an awful lot there, aren't you? That you might know why. You're assuming an awful lot that I might know how to do it. Of the yeah. end, at the ending? Yeah. Well, I'm asking you if you know how to yeah, do it. Yeah, have I got my test coming up next week or something? No. No. I've done a bit of driving around the workshop, yeah? Yeah. Do you think there was somebody sitting beside me telling me that it's important to do the handbrake first and then the gear lever into neutral? And even you haven't given me a, a reason why it's important. No, because I wanted you to try and work it out then. And, if, and then when we said it, when we've done it again, I wanted you to go through the routine of doing it that's what you have to do and then say why you have to do that yes yeah, so what I have to do then so why do you have to do it yeah. well supposing for example you haven't got it the handbrake on yeah what's the car likely to do if you take your pedals off before you put it into neutral nothing I, I got my foot on the brake so you got your foot on the brake supposing you hadn't got your foot properly on the brake what what could the car do it would roll it would roll. Well, I might and, what's, roll. and what's the danger of that? Well, rolling? Put the the brake. Stop it. So yes, but then, what else is the problem with not putting the handbrake on first? I don't know. So it could roll forward. It could roll backwards. What about if somebody hit you and you haven't put it into the handbrake? What could potentially happen then? I got my foot on the brake. Yeah, but if you got your foot on your brake, your foot comes off the brake quite easily. Then what's going to happen? You're not. That'll roll. You're not. You're not quite getting it. Yeah. 
Yeah, as to what the reason being. That's how it's my driveway there, yeah? Yeah. yeah? And, some... and I've got the kids in the car, yeah? Yeah. And I've got this habit of going into neutral, yeah? Yep. And then one of the kids go, Daddy, Daddy, I need a pee now, now. And I'm rushing, yeah? Yeah. And I go into neutral. And I get out of the car. Before I know, where's the car gone? Yeah, but have I gone? Yeah. Yeah, where's the car gone? It's a bad habit. It's over there in that, in that knocking that wall down in that garden, isn't it? Yeah. Probably killing about a few pedestrians who are walking past at the time, and probably getting hit by that car. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Got to come up with reasons why. Make sense? Mm-hmm. You all right? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Look, we've we've done 40 hours under the uh, old system, haven't we? Mm -hmm. You know, as well as I do, that you will not get away with language like a bit. I know. Yeah? I know. It doesn't work. It's dangerous. Okay. Yeah? It's just if you say slow down a bit or speed up a bit, you're going to lose your car very quickly. Okay. Yeah? Yep. You've got to do better than that. It, it, a bit means it's such a yes it could mean a massive bit it, you know to your pupil or it could mean a small bit you're looking at somebody here could be very nervous yeah mm-hmm um, the same with the steering the old bit crept in you, you got to knock that on the head <laughs> yeah yeah you know uh, Knock it on the head now. Yep. Um, it's a bad habit, and it's a habit you don't want to start getting into when you go on your trainee license. No. Yeah? Yeah. No, definitely. Because... When that, you that's the biggest thing for me, it that, is the terminology as to how to explain things. Well, you know, start learning your terminology. I thought yeah? it was, till I did this. Sorry? I thought it was till I did this yeah, one. Yeah, it's got to be specific, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. You, you know I've never uh, I, I've never accepted this um, this rubbish of it no it has, to, it has to be very clear it has to be very clear be careful about using the word stop in the wrong context yeah yeah I made sure it was clear I know um, but a very nervous learner they won't make sure it's clear. <laughs> stop yeah yeah you've lost the rear end of your car yeah yes Agree? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. I know it's not easy, but um, you, you have to learn. Yeah? I'm melting. Okay. Right? <laughs> well, I'll just get him a pause. Good. Before you swear again. Good. <laughs> <laughs>